the stats every minute is quick. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In today's video, we're going to talk about Andy. Um, I wanted to do an update on this project because this is my one of my favorite meme coins in the entire crypto space at the moment. Okay, in terms of opportunity, um, in terms of the way it's been holding up, as you can see, the chart looks extremely bullish. I mean, this chart is a work of art, and um, you know, I have been posting or talking about this particular project um, for the simple fact that. You know, this is part of the boys club, you know, 4chan memes, you know, all, all that sort of stuff, right? Um, you got Pepe, um, Bobo. Um, well, Bobo's not one of the boys club, um, one of the boys club memes. But in terms of the main memes in crypto right now, you have Pepe, you have Bobo, you have Andy, uh, you have, you, excuse me, you have Brett. Um, and... Um, you know, in terms of opportunity for upside, I think Andy has one of the highest probabilities at the moment because it's the newest one out of the lot. And um, it's on Ethereum, okay? And the whole narrative behind is the push that it's getting from, you know, big influencers or one particular influencer, which we'll talk about in this video as well, that you definitely need to be following if you're bullish on Andy. Um just based on what the market has been doing you know the strength in this chart is just clearly a statement um you know to, to what we're going to see what, what we're going to see with this particular project we're going to see uh, in my opinion we're going to see huge upside okay guys touching quickly on the simple fact that we have the bitcoin halving which is around about an hour and a half away um you know so this is obviously a huge catalyst in crypto the Bitcoin halving, uh, the block reward is reduced, which means it's twice as expensive to produce one Bitcoin. Um, and the rate that Bitcoin is going to be produced will be cut in half. This obviously makes the asset more scarce. And this brings a lot of speculation into the market because historically, um, the market has performed extremely well after the Bitcoin halving within 6 to 12 months um we see new bitcoin all-time highs there's only ever been um three halvings in the history of bitcoin this will be the third halving so you know a lot of people are excited about that um you know ultimately we've already seen a dip in the market as i said in previous videos we expect to see a dip normally before the halving the only difference is is that we we don't normally see a bitcoin all-time high uh, prior to the halving and that's something that we've seen this year so that is absolutely you know history is changing right history is changing but um yeah ultimately this is happening in an hour and a half just over an hour and a half so you know expect to see a lot of content about this and expect to see a reaction in the market post halving i don't think that you know we're going to see bitcoin go to the moon straight away um normally it will probably you know pull back and range sideways um, but we have just had a huge black swan event in bitcoin well sorry just in the markets in general right because you know the war and all that sort of stuff that's all i say on the matter right um so there's wars and rumors of wars uh, which is biblical if you read the bible you know what i'm talking about right but you know ultimately we're seeing it you know the market's being affected by what's going on so you know what do we see moving forward oh let's touch on the fact that i talked about the bitcoin spot etf as well and i'm going somewhere with all of this right but the bitcoin spot etf was approved in the united states recently we've seen a bitcoin spot etf and ethereum spot etf approved in hong kong Obviously, these are all bullish catalysts for the market, right? You don't necessarily see the market react to this news straight away. Um, but over the long term, what do we expect? We expect more upside. You know, we expect a bull, uh, you know, a, a bullish moves for the prices, um, you know, mid, mid to long term, right? Um, and as well, short term, right? So, you know, ultimately, what we expect is higher prices in Bitcoin, right? um and crypto in general okay bitcoin dominance 
we expect to fall, and then we expect to see an altcoin season. Okay, guys. So, you know, uh, altcoin season means that you know you're gonna see crazy gains throughout the altcoins, right? Your altcoin portfolio is gonna go absolutely crazy. Now, when Bitcoin pulls back, obviously that's gonna affect your, you know, it affects the altcoins as well. But what we expect to see is when the altcoins recover, we expect to see new all-time highs and altcoins outperforming Bitcoin. Another thing that we're seeing in the market right now is we're seeing that a lot, a lot more people are holding their altcoins despite the Bitcoin dips, right? Not everyone, obviously. And maybe, you know, some people, will, they will have their long-term portfolios and they'll have their trading portfolios, right? But So you're always going to see the dips, right? But the metrics would suggest that a lot more people are holding on to their altcoins, which is, you know, a sign of, you know, new, you know, it's different activity happening in the market than what we've previously seen in previous cycles. So obviously all of this is bullish, which brings me, you know, onto the subject of meme coins, or back to the subject of meme coins. Obviously, this video I'm specifically talking about Andy, right? Um, meme coins tend to outperform every other asset class, right? Gaming, metaverse, AI is, you know, obviously moving towards that as well. You know, people understand AI. They understand meme coins. And when I say understand meme coins, it's like there's not much to understand. That it's a picture. It's, it's funny, it's a cartoon or whatever, right? It's a dog with a hat or it's a, you know, Pepe, it's a frog or whatever, right? People, the only thing you need to understand about meme coins is that you buy it and it goes up and it's fun, okay, guys? So that's what I mean when I say people understand meme coins. They understand meme coins. They understand AI. They understand games, right? But what you get with meme coins is they tend to outperform a lot of other asset assets, right, in crypto specifically, uh, for the simple fact that retail investors come into meme coins are more likely to come into meme coins. Um, obviously, when you're thinking of like a long term investment or a serious investment, you're thinking, yo, like, um, you know, BlackRock. Obviously, they're putting money into crypto and they're looking to invest in real world assets. I can't really see them aping into a bunch of meme coins although it could happen right you just never know but um ultimately when you think of mass adoption right black rock people like that that's not mass adoption right mass adoption is when retail comes in um and you know you know your grandma or your or your little cousin or whatever they're they're talking to you about crypto and they're like yo you know they're not talking about ondo ondo finance they're not talking about something like that they're talking about Pepe, they're talking about Shiba Inu, they're talking about Brett, things like that, or at least that's what they're going to talk about, right? They may talk about Solana or, you know, some of the mainstream altcoins that are getting a lot of hype. And why would they be talking about Solana? Because there's a load of meme coins on Solana. So, but ultimately, they're going to be diving into things like meme coins, all right, guys? But what people are understanding now as well is when they see things like dog with hat, they Bonk. They see, you know, guys are putting like eight thousand into Shiba Inu and making five billion dollars. People are putting two hundred dollars into Shiba Inu and making a million. People are putting in, you know, um, you know, a couple of hundred dollars or a couple of thousand dollars and making millions of dollars in altcoins like Dog with Hat, for example, right? People, you know, a lot of these, you know, what what you say is you know, jeets, right? A lot of jeets will be turning into holders or a lot of new people coming into crypto, they will just buy it and hold it for the simple fact that they understand now that holding these things gives you a lot more, you know, higher potential of yield over the longer term or short to mid term, right? Oh, sorry, mid to long term than it does just getting in, making a two, three X and selling, okay? A lot of people that will come in the market, obviously, you know, they might make a two, three X and they might sell right because you know they're new to it and you know it's just fast money but a lot of people will come in the market they will literally just buy and just hold it um one of the downsides to that is they won't know sell it okay because sometimes selling your tokens is as much of a skill as buying it or holding it or picking an entry right hold uh, selling it taking profits realizing gains is something that normally it takes people multiple cycles to learn yo i need to take some profits okay
this time around. I need to lock in some profits because you ride them up and you ride them all the way back down. Sometimes you sell too early. Sometimes you sell too late. Sometimes you don't sell at all and you're waiting for the next market cycle. That's just how it goes in crypto. A lot, you can tell people as much as you want as well, but people tend to learn the hard way. But anyway, I've been rambling on. What I wanted to talk about is Andy and why I'm bullish on Andy. Okay, I've been bullish. Obviously, you've seen my previous videos. We were talking about Andy uh, over here, over here, uh, over here. We were talking about Andy. Okay, and now what we see is new all-time highs. You know, when the whole market was pulling back, Andy was just holding strong, right? And then what we see, we see a massive pump out of Andy. Okay, guys. Um, and I said in my previous videos on Andy, right? Um, specifically, Andy on Ethereum. That's the one that I was bullish on for many reasons, right? A lot of people are talking about Andy on Blast because it's the yellow meme on the yellow chain. I disagreed right andy on ethereum is the narrative in my opinion and obviously when we saw this massive pump over here and it just started pumping out of nowhere right that was a key it pumped to like 60 million market cap right that was basically the market saying yo this is the andy which is chosen okay it's the leading the top performing andy it pumped and overtook all the other ones in like look at that from the first of april to literally the 4th of April. So in like two, three days, you know, it, it overtook every single other Andy on every other chain, Solana, uh, Blast, the one that people are most, most bullish on or, you know, speculating on. Um, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if there's one on Ethereum or whatever, right? But I know there's one on Ton now, but this is the leading Andy, right? And, there's this whole narrative with Andy, okay? The zero, uh, what what do you have? If we go to their Twitter, right? So you have, well, I've already got it open, right? But if you go to their Twitter, there's the zero X. So Pepe is zero X 69. And the Andy contract is starts with a zero X uh, 68. Okay, so there's this whole narrative, obviously with Brett being, sorry, no, Brett, with Andy being, Pepe is one of Pepe's friends in, in the boys club, right? Um, Pepe being on the Ethereum chain, um, starting 0x69, uh, Andy is also should also be on the Ethereum chain. That should be the one that's chosen, they say, uh, because that is 0x68. So it's that's how closely related it, the contract is to Pepe, or that's a narrative that people are going with, or that's a narrative that seem to have caught the crypto communities uh specifically the dj communities eye and obviously that is a narrative that ultimately is it's a narrative it's become a narrative in itself right so you know that is obviously a good thing for this project um and also you've got basically uh, this guy Max because Bitcoin, right? Um, and he's been hardcore involved in the upside of this, in in you know the main in in the recognition of this particular uh, meme coin, right? And you know he's basically kind of taken the lead on this project, right? He didn't create the contract, he didn't list it, but you know he did invest in it talked about it he's one of the you know main reasons that the price started to pump the way it did um and he's been basically holding it ever since right he's made like over a million dollars in his token already um buying it early and um you know he's still holding it but not only that he's be basically been raising money to you know pay for exchange listings and all that sort of stuff right they've He's, he's raised like 500k in donations in in the in in the marketing wallet right just for exchange listings and so on right in fact let's just read this tweet it says and this is from him himself right what many still fail to recognize or doubt is that i won't stop until this happens has a community run meme coin ever had a fully doxed ultra professional honest trustworthy crypto media company owner 
and crypto hedge, hedge fund owner step up to spearhead onboarding while a community backed them with 500k in donations with bitcoin halving in less than 24 hours with premier htf conditions for risk to rally hard there is no other option you'll see so a lot of people are you know backing and supporting max because bitcoin right and this is him here you can go and follow him on youtube uh, i give him the credit for finding or you know making this andy pop right because you know ultimately is you know he he was buying this before it pumped right and obviously shielded obviously has a following so obviously that plays a part into it the, the upside of it but you know his wallet is public as well you can go and check that out he hasn't sold any of it and um ultimately this is just you know this just plays a part in the kind of movement of this token okay he's spearheading the movement on this particular project and this is a community project okay guys but he's responsible for getting a bunch of these listings as well right it's listed on femex exchange it's listed on bitget global and and so on and um in my previous video i did highlight um the fractal that he published on uh the andy versus pepe right or, the, or compared to Pepe, right? This is the fractal here. And uh, obviously you've seen this play out. In fact, he posted it while it was down. Uh, this is an update, right? But he did post it earlier than that. But um, yeah, this is this is another reason why I'm bullish on uh, Andy. So specifically what, where I'm going with this is the community, okay? Although, you know, it is, you know, it, although it is, that there is one instrumental player in this project who's not the developer, right? He has a community and has brought his community along with him, right? So that is most definitely a bullish factor in Andy and has most definitely contributed to the upside of this particular chart, this project, right? So as a meme coin, the fact that it's been holding up better than, you know, 80, 90% of the market as well throughout this whole correction that we've seen across the market as a whole right um you know the, you know i just see a lot more upside potential for this particular project okay guys so i just wanted to touch base on this because you know this is an extremely bullish project um in terms of mean coins right and mean coins are going to outperform the whole market Obviously, there's the argument for holding the leading meme coin on the leading on the on the most bullish chains, okay, guys. But then there's also, you know, like for example, like buying Andy is like a leverage bet on Pepe, right? Andy, Bobo, you know, things like that. that you know, Pepe's in the billions, right? Multiples of billions. Andy's not in billions yet, right? So, do you believe? Obviously, do you believe that Andy is going to go to the billions? I believe it's going to into the billions. I don't see why not. In fact, that's less than a 10x from where we're at right now. And I think we see more than a 10x out of Andy, um, especially at this stage of the bull market. We're, we're very early. Okay, guys. And it's, it's showing clear signs of strength. You know, it's a no-brainer to invest in, in my opinion. You know, you can argue about entries. Okay, maybe you'd like a lower entry. But again, I was talking about it when it was down here. Um, you, you know, I mean, uh, Max, because Bitcoin, he was talking about it when it was down here as well. Okay, guys. So obviously, you, you know, if, if you did miss the early entry, which I didn't get in down here, uh, you know, I, I got in around 60 million market cap, like I said before, right? So, you know, you can make the mistake of, you know, saying, you know what, I've already missed it. But, you know, like I've said in a previous video, would you like to have bought Shiba Inu at 60 million market cap before it went to 40 billion? You know, or Dog With Hat at 60 million market cap before it went to 3 or 5 billion, however high it's gone, right? That's what you have to ask yourself, okay? You might have missed the beginning and you're not always going to be fortunate enough to buy the beginning or the, the you know, in fact, you know, the amount of coins that I've bought the beginning thinking it was going somewhere, right? And I've just lost all my money. I mean, that happened to me yesterday. I mean, that happens all the time, right? $800 down the drain, that happens all the time. But, um, 
yeah, because risk uh, meme coins a risky business, right? But you know, there's a lot. It's, it's a lot safer to be buying in at this market cap. Although yes, it would be nice to get it at one million market cap. You'd already be up 113, 114x on your investment. But you know, you're not gonna catch every meme coin at a hundred uh, at one million market cap. Okay, guys. But again, if you bought Shiba Inu at 60 million market cap or 100 million market cap even where it is like 130 million market cap you'd still be extremely happy once it hits a 40 billion market cap and you probably would have been you probably wouldn't be scaling out profits long before that anyway okay depending on the amount you invest it could be life-changing money so you know i just wanted to touch base on andy because again i'm super bullish on this project and i'm holding it and i think it has great short mid-term and long-term potential in this bull run okay guys that's really all i've got for you in this video let me know what you think in the comments do me a favor and subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications like the video and i'll see you in the next one